Okay, I think we need to chill. I think we need chill. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Enzo, Lotus. It is cold. We're done pretending. <laughs> Trying to dig to somewhere warmer? You're done. She's Oh, go boy, go poopies. But aside from that, we have a lot to do today in today's Vlogmas. Closing on the house, finally. I say finally, I mean, it's been about the typical 30 days. Although we were supposed to close on Friday and there was a mistake with the paperwork. I think the, I and my realtor think it was some planned ignorance on their part. Come on boys, this way. Well, you know, we gotta look for blue ball. It's getting real low around here. There's always a chance that somebody found it and took it, which, you know, whatever. A few days later, not a big deal. No, don't see it, boys. I don't even know if I remember where it was at this point. Aside from that, if you saw the title, obviously you know I do have a little bit of a secret that I've been hiding from you guys for quite a long time, actually, that we will talk about when we get home. I had, I had my reasons, I had good reasons, and my reasons proved very good. I didn't want to tell you guys in case it didn't work, and it didn't. We will talk about that when we get to the house, assuming I don't freeze. Did you get them? Get them squirrels? <laughs> He's just staring at me. Watch out, Enzo, he's coming. Not sure what we're doing now. Oh. Stick. Jeez. He did not appreciate that. If you notice, as per usual, I have a pup backpack. I've been following along, you know, this is version two. I'm actually in the process of sourcing version three. I thought I had it. Had a new one show up, took it to the park yesterday. It just did not work. It was too small. The straps were weird. It just, it's a nice backpack, just wouldn't work for what I need. Uh, this new backpack needs to be able to house pup stuff and some camera stuff. Because we'll use it when we go on hikes. <laughs> Now, typically when we go on high to the park like this, I don't carry camera gear with me. I have the camera and then just clips here and it's good enough. But I feel like when we're out exploring the nation, we're going to get into some longer hikes. Now, I do have a new camera bag that I'll use for when we go places, because I feel like we're going to go on some pretty long hikes. You know, hikes that may last most of the day or something. So I did get a new bag for that. That I've got solved. What I need now is kind of like that medium bag where, you know, we've been at a location for a couple days or something and maybe we're going on, you know, just a shorter couple hour hike or something. Or as we're traveling along the way, we may not, we may just stop places and visit parks and such. And, you know, I just, I don't know what I'm going to need because it's all going to be new. Typically when we go to the parks around here, I kind of know what it is and what I need to bring. And if worst case, I don't bring something that I should have, we could always revisit it. It's not gonna be as easy going forward. I had to run because I couldn't see over that ridge. Did you get them? But like I said, I have the big camera back figured out. That when solved, I got that a few weeks ago, so while I'm walking around freezing to death, I will show you that bag. Oh. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you just have to treat yourself. <clears throat> Ta 
that's nice. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Backpack. So I've wanted a nice camera bag for a long time. And it's just one of those things that you just hate to spend the money on it. But like, you, once you do, like you're just happy you did. Ooh, this fancy stuff. I think it opens from the back for security. That way people can't undo it while you're like walking, like if you're in an airport or something. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all that cool stuff. If you're familiar with Peter McKinnon, got the little pirate thing. I don't know why he likes pirates so much, but he does. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Plus, got the organizer, filter kit, and I have another accessory case. It's actually Peak Design coming today that will complete, hopefully, my camera gear carrying ensemble. Um, you probably don't care too much about this, so I'm um, keeping this brief, but there you have it. I'm pretty psyched. Back window first. Even though we're not moving, stick with the habits. I clearly forgot to buckle you again, but you've clearly forgotten as well. I've gotten bad at that lately. Constantly forgetting to buckle him, but then he forgets, so, okay. We are T minus three hours from house closing. What you think? Then we can officially buy an Airstream. You so pup inside? You so sided? You so sided? He's thrilled. Now, for those of you who follow, really have to know your food, but you notice this is not Gentle Giants. However, this is, and I'll explain. Thank you. Yeah, you saved me. Thank you. Well, yeah, we'll get Snacky. Yeah, you deserve Snacky for saving my life. What would I do without you, boys? Hang on. Yep, undefeated. Undefeated. Well, thank you. I'd like to point out that this Rudolph is out, and that Rudolph is out. I swear I did not get those out, and I have not seen either of those in months, so apparently the pups do actually, in fact, know that it is Christmas. And yeah, I hung some more lights because I have no self-control. But anyways, let's talk about their food. You get a lot of food questions. Enzo, did you see Enzo getting a toy? That's a good boy, Enzo. Enzo knows when he's being too much, he'll get him a toy. We've done Gentle Giants for a very long time and it's still the food that when anybody asks to this day, I always just tell them we use Gentle Giants. Truth is, we haven't been feeding them Gentle Giants for almost a year. I didn't want to say anything. Switching their food is not something you should ever do lightly and it takes several days, weeks to do it. And it's just, it's just something that you shouldn't be doing on a whim. I was afraid that if I told you all that I had, was doing this experiment, even if I said, hey, I'm doing this experiment, don't do anything with it, some of you might have still done something, or you know, I don't know, or maybe you wouldn't hear that part, you would just hear that we're feeling different, so then you think you should switch. For many reasons, I didn't tell you guys that we had switched Enzo to a, a diet, a food that was supposed to help control weight. Now, it's just to make things simpler, we, went ahead and just switched Lotus to it as well. Now, there is a, just like with humans, there is a lot of things involved in losing weight. Not only what you eat, but what you do and everything else and snacks and treats and you know, all that good stuff. What I will say is that in our real life world over the last about a year, I have not seen improvement. In fact, I've seen them both gain a little bit of weight. This is, I'm not claiming this is some scientific study or anything like that. For us, it didn't work. So I am switching them back to Gentle Giants as of about a week ago, I've been phasing it in. Waited till I got down to my last bag of the current food, ordered Gentle Giants, and I've just been mixing it in slowly. So it'll take me a couple weeks to fully switch them over. Oh, you be calm now. Oh, thank you. Even Lotus gained a few pounds, which Lotus had never, his weight never fluctuated, was always stayed the same. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, literally like four or five pounds max. 
and you could contribute that to, you know, he has gotten a little bit older. Maybe he's going a little bit slower. Doesn't, I don't know, you watch the videos, doesn't seem like he's going slower. And Enzo, who had fluctuated at different times, usually in that 1 to 110 range, depending on the time of year, you know, in the winter, it'd go up a little bit more because we're indoors more. There's just not as much exercise. He got up to 120, which he had never been that high before. In the past, when I had done things to try to help him, whether it was more exercise or less food or anything like that, his weight never really fluctuated. So the fact that he was just consistently gaining weight, Lotus, it's fine. It's fine. So anyways, that's kind of the secret I've been keeping for about a year. I wanted to give it a good long run. Honestly, with COVID and everything, I probably wouldn't have gone as long. It just, time kind of slipped away. And frankly, with everything else going on in my life. So that is the big secret that I've been keeping. And now I have to go sign my house away. Sell the house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got the new license plates. Get a little spray down. Don't know why we're on stream. Don't even know why that's an option. There we go. First of all, you should shake it. Jeez, I'm a mess. This is just some cheap spray sealant. I only ever use this for license plates. I don't ever use this on my cars. But fun fact, by spraying this on my plates, it actually got me out of a, a camera ticket once, a toll ticket. I didn't know it would do that. That's not why I do this. I do it so they don't get dirty. And since the plates are white, I don't want them like getting all dingy and stuff, so. Come on, boys. All right, here to sign the paperwork. No matter how ready I am and excited to start this journey, there's still that like sentimental part that kicks in. You're like, well, you know, today is the last day that I own a house. Gotta celebrate with the Starbucks though. Evidently, I am the first one here. So I took it upon myself to open the blinds so that I could uh, see the truck. All right, well, I just filmed this and then realized that I had the wrong camera on, but I am leaving. It is done. I am no longer a homeowner. I've got several thousand dollars in my pocket. Not really, they're gonna wire it. And uh, she was like, she's like, I don't have a check here. Oh wait, it says you're wiring? I'm not afraid of them. She's like, yeah, most people are. I was like, yeah. She's like, but that's how you get the money fast. And that is correct. The money will be in my account tomorrow versus a check, which would take seven days to clear. All right, Radar, it's cool. Somebody once told me, get a slow car, then you can't get in trouble. You can, it's just sort of different kinds of trouble.